Hello, welcome, welcome to another day. Yeah, that's like some crazy camera view there. How you doing? Are you good? You're good. I think it's September 21st. I could be a bit wrong there. Um, I just actually woke up from a weird nap I took. I norm normally I'm not a napper. I think napping is usually like it's kind of like a last resort. Like if you're that bored, like your body just doesn't want to do anything, you go to sleep. But uh, I feel like you should be able to utilize your time, your your time in the day a little better. Um, that being said, I think that naps can be pretty good sometimes. You know, like for example, I woke up last night 10 p.m. I woke up at 10 p.m., went to work at 11, came home this morning at, like, 7, no, like, 8.30. Um, it's about noon right now. So, I, uh, I woke up, or, well, I was just kind of, like, I watched the new One Piece and the new Attack on Titan, and then I, like, went to the bathroom, then I did something. I think I ate a bagel or something. Um, but then I was just, like... Whenever I text message people, I get into this weird mode where I just, like, get into my bed and I just lay there. And I just read, like, news updates and just read things. And then I usually just, like, sit there, basically. But what happened was, I think I, what the hell happened? I don't know, I just kind of dozed off. And then I woke back up and it was noon. And I was like, what the hell happened there? But, uh, like, my body was, like, in such a comfortable state that I was like, I'll let it slide this time, but... I don't know, man. It was pretty cool. I like it. I do. Whoa. What's up with the shadowing? Like, half of my head is gone, man. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's going on. I just, I want to go driving, man. I need to get my license done and over with. Like I said, I wanted it in this month of September. I guess I didn't go as hard as I thought I was going in the first couple weeks. Um, you know, I try, I've tried to put in the effort of driving every every day, but it's hard, you know. It's not hard, but it's like hard to it's hard to defeat my human limitation, you know. Like for me, I don't necessarily put things off, but you know, I have a I have a way of delaying them or something. I guess you could say, you know. Realistically, you'd think, okay, I need my license, okay, should be easy enough, get driving experience, go to the DMV, do a road test, have obtained enough experience and skill to be able to pass it, and so on. It's very straightforward, very straightforward process. It's nothing like, go to college for four years and graduate, and then, um... Spend 5,000 hours studying various topics about, like, nuclear fission and shit like that. Nothing like that. It's very simple. You have people in your life with cars. They have licenses. You say, hey, teach me how to drive. Let me get some experience or whatever, you know. So, obviously, you get the experience. You, at the very, even now, like, I have a job. I could pay, I could pay for driving lessons or something like that, but I don't. I feel like you need to obtain the experience. You need to you need, just get out of the road and do it. The only problem with that is there's so many different rules that are like... I don't want to say that they're not there and present, but like, you know, they make you read this little booklet that has so many rules, and you think, okay, okay, okay. The right-of-way is like this, and then all this other stuff, and it's like, you got to stay the speed limit, but the thing is nobody on the road does the fucking speed limit. Everybody is like, for example, the highway to work, you know, it's 55. Uh, every time I'm on that highway, people are doing pretty much either like 10 miles under or 10 miles over. Um, there's a section that drops to 45. Nobody goes 45 there. Everybody goes 55 and 60. And um, so I find myself doing stuff like that, you know, just to keep up with the cars that are obviously like gaining distance on me, you know. And I'm hearing, like, I'm hearing so many different multiple, like, opinions, you know? I'm hearing, do what the law says, go the speed limit. But then you get towel riders who are, like, they're so impatient that they, they can't go five miles on, like, 
I'm going 55 and a 55. They want me to go 60. So that what they're going to do is they're going to ride my tail and they're just like, this is going to take multiple minutes away from my day of getting to this destination. To me, that's just, it's stupid, you know? And then you have the, um, how close should you follow behind people, you know? You're supposed to be like, I think, a couple car lengths in between just so you have that reaction time, which it's okay to me, but, you know, I see so many people just riding other people and stuff like that. I haven't seen any crashes or anything like that, but I see a lot of people missing shit. For exa like even with me, I've I've been near a couple accidents already. Um, you know, like how how can I? Okay, I'm looking at an inverted camera, so it's a little weird. All right, so this road that I go to work on, there's three lanes, right? So you have this is the right lane. I'm guessing I can't. I think the camera's inverted, so what is on my left is on your right or something like that. I don't know. This is the right lane. This is the middle lane. This is the left lane. Left lane can only go, or is it, I think it's only two, yeah, it's only two lanes, anyway. Alright, so you have two lanes, right? You have the left lane, which can go, I think straight, yeah, you can go left, right, and straight. Left, yeah, left, straight, and right. Alright. And the right lane can only go right. Alright. So, what a lot of people do is they go up into the left, the well, the right only lane, right? And then they go right, obviously. Well, the thing is, when you go right, you come into the main highway, which has three lanes, three or four lanes. Um, but basically, they want to get into the inner lane, the middle lane. So they cut, like, when they come off onto the right, like, they should go straight into the lane they're, they're going to be going into. But what they do is they go straight through their lane into the, the middle lane because... I don't know why. They just go into the middle lane. So what happens is if you're over here in the left lane that can go right or go straight, you can only go into the middle lane, all right? Because you've got a car on your left side, your right side. Yeah, on your right side. So this car that is blocking your way of getting into the uh, the right lane, which is closest to that guy, and then you're also having this asshole who's going straight into your lane, which happened to me the other night. And all you can really do is slow down as fast as possible without, you know, d damaging anything and, you know, just safe, being safe or whatever. But still, it's like, the first thing I do whenever I pull out is I make sure there are no fucking cars coming, alright? But, like, that concept didn't exist for that person. They just went straight into a lane, like, through a lane to another lane. Like, that just seems, like, super reckless. I don't understand that. Um... I mean, there's a lot, of, there's various things. The whole right-of-way thing still throws me off a bit. Um, you know, there's, there's just so many variables that go into it, like, who gets there first, you know, like, if three cars all pull up, like, roughly at the same amount of time, where is, where is the, the exact point? The first car to stop? Is it the first car to touch the white line? Is it the first car to, um, you know, the first car, I don't know. There's just so many things that go into it. And then you're supposed to give it to the right person, right? So it's like, I'm here, they're over here, there's a car up here, right? Ooh, it's weird doing things like this. Alright, so, here's me. This guy got there first, but then this guy got there. Like, And then you have the factor of, is this guy turning over that way? Is he going this way? Is he going this way? Down towards me? Because if this guy over here is going down towards me, he's not a target. I can, even if I went like straight up into the past him, I could go past him. But then you've got this guy up here, where's he going? What, what if he goes over here, you know, do I go that way then, like, what if I'm going straight, do I go straight first, you know, it's just, it, it throws me off, you know, there's so much retarded shit that goes into it, and then I'm hearing, like, if you're not turning, you get the right of way, but if you are turning into a close lane, like, if you're turning right, you don't have to go through anyone's traffic lane, which is good, because then that means the guy over there would have to, but then this guy over here, what if he's going straight, he can just go straight, I don't know. I mean, I, what I want is I want, like, a driving simulator just to be built on every, on Xbox, you know, I'd play that. I think I'd play that, to be honest. I think that'd be really useful, actually. Microsoft Driving Simulator 20, 2014. I'd play it. No, I mean, like, if the government should issue that, like, with, uh, remember when they made America's Army? That would be a really useful tool for 
the new generations and stuff on learn, learning how to drive. I think that'd be cool. Alright, I'm gonna end this here. I gotta go do stuff. Bye bye. Boop.